Installing or removing input modules does not require excessive force. If you are encountering high resistance while inserting the modules, please investigate what may be causing it. If you need assistance, contact MSB Technical Support. When handling any MSB input or output module, only touch the metal case or lower lip of the module and never touch the connectors or circuit board. When swapping input or output modules, be sure to power off the unit and unplug any IEC power cords from your digital director or DAC. These modules are not hot swappable. Before installing your universal I2S input module, please update your DAC or digital director firmware to the latest available firmware option. Firmware files and updating instructions can be found on our website or by following the link in the description. Once your firmware has been updated, pick which slot you will be installing the new input into and remove the blank or digital input that is currently installed. Begin by reaching under the back edge of the jack panel and pulling the lever out and away from the product until it is perpendicular. Then grab the lower lip of the input module or blank and gently pull it from the back of the product. To install your new input module, simply guide the module into the desired slot. Leave the lever fully extended and slide it in until you feel the connector at the back of the module start to make contact. Then push the end of the lever over until flush with the back lip of the product. Now power on your device and go into the menu settings to find the menu option labeled Uni I2S. Select this menu item and change from off to the source brand component that you will be using. Once selected, use the menu button on your remote or MSB product to exit the menu and save the selected settings. The last step is to check if there is any additional setup required for your source component. Some products require additional setup to achieve proper audio playback. Basic setup information can be found on our website. When the module has been installed and the settings of each unit has been configured, proper audio playback should be achieved. If you are experiencing any issues, please contact MSB Technical Support. A written version of these instructions and configurations can be found on our website or by following the link in the description.